Hello guys, this is Sushant. So welcome to your channel that is Sci Engineers. Today we are going to discuss about the engineering field which is mechanical engineering. I hope the other videos on engineering which we had made are helping you in deciding your field and also videos related to the cap round are clarifying some of the doubts related to it. If you are new to the channel, please go through the videos which we had done and also please subscribe to our channel so that you get a timely update on the videos which we will be doing. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification whenever we are uploading a new video. Also we would like to tell you guys that we are associated with Samartha Vidya classes which is for engineering and science students. We conduct classes for the BE, BTech and also diploma level students. We also conduct classes for the 11th and 12th science PCMB and also we prepare students for the engineering entrances. We also take private and group tuitions. To get more information about us please do contact us at our email address which is samarthavidya at the rate gmail.com Also please do visit our Facebook page to know about us. So let's get going. Now if physics was one of your favorite subject and the physical aspects of the various forces which are acting on body, the vector analysis and also terms like kinematics, kinetics were some of your favorite topics then mechanical engineering can be one of the field for you guys. Now basically mechanical engineering is related to the physical aspects of various things which are around you. From the designing part to the redesigning part to the production of it to the manufacturing of it all is done by a mechanical engineer. Everything which is in physical form around you guys is basically because of the help of a mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineer basically deals with the application of the physics, material sciences and engineering to design, to manufacture and to analyze and also in maintaining of certain mechanical systems. It also de deals with the manufacturing and the production of various materials. Now this particular field is one of the oldest fields which are available. It saw its rise in the industrial revolutions when many of the factories, many of the industries were coming and they required mechanical engineers in the production and manufacturing part of it. The various designs of the machineries which were required in these industries were done because of the mechanical engineers. So basically a mechanical engineer deals with the interaction of various physical components which are around them and making it into a machine which can be useful to make your workload lot easier. Now mechanical engineer in the current generation has seen many changes in them. Because of the inventions of various electronic devices and because of the advancement in electronics, the incorporation with the electronics has made the mechanical engineer expand itself in various fields. From the current fields which we see like the robotics, the aerospace engineering, the aeronautical engineering, all those specialized engineering which we see around is just because of the incorporation of the mechanical techniques and the electronics advancement in them. From the industries like the automobile industry, to the basic industry of the pharmacies. We require these machineries. The maintenance of this machinery, the designing of this machinery is done because of the help of a mechanical engineer. So you will be always required to have a mechanical engineer in whichever industry you go. So basically a mechanical engineering is a everlasting field. Also because of the various computer programs which are available, there is also advancement in the designing process. Most of the designing process has become automated or it is become basically computerized. So there is always requirement for mechanical engineers who understand these computer programs. The designing aspects of this can be seen in various fields like petroleum industry wherein you have to design the overall infrastructure of extraction of the petroleum and also transportation of this petroleum from the field to the purification plants. If you are really interested in this particular field then you should go for this field because it has many options and you can go in other fields also related to it. The various fields which you can see in this particular mechanical engineering are can be as such. The first one can be our applied mechanics wherein you will be understanding how the interaction of forces on different body 
is affecting that particular body and how the application of a force on a certain body affects the other body. So it is basically the study of the forces and its effect on the objects which is under consideration. The next important topic which can be considered is the mechatronics engineering which is just nothing but a combination of mechanics, electronics and computer engineering or also our communication engineering. So basically in mechatronics engineering it is nothing but you have to understand the mechanics of the system and how you can make it an automated system. Like for example you can consider the CD drive. Now CD drive nowadays we don't use it but if you just understand the working of the CD drive, you require a certain thing which can rotate the CD and which can also withstand that amount of speed which at which the CD is being rotated. So for that you require that mechanical system to put in the CD to make it rotate and also a system which can eject itself from the CPU and get attached to the CPU as well. So that becomes the mechanical part. The electronics part basically comes from the lasers which are used to decode the language to get the information from the CD and the way in which the information is provided to the CPU can be done with the help of a communication engineer or also an electronics engineer. Now the working on it, whatever information which you are getting that is done by the programming aspect of it. So that can be either done by a computer engineer or if an electronics engineer is good in it, it can be done by that. So if you are going for the mechatronics engineering, you have to understand each and every aspect of this. Now the next main aspect which you can have is the structural analysis in mechanical engineering. It is basically involves the understanding of the stress and the strain which various elements of a particular structure has to undergo. Because if you see any structure, each and every element will not be having the same amount of stress or strain which it has to undergo. So every, dis every part has its own analysis to be done and that comes under the structural analysis. Now that structure can be a simple table or it can go up to a complicated structure like building up a bridge or a building of a building. So all those things comes under the structural analysis. This part also comes in the civil engineering. So basically mechanical engineering and civil engineering go hand in hand. In civil engineering basically it is concentrated on designing of huge structures but in mechanical engineering it can be a smallest of the smallest structure which has to be designed. Now the next main topic which comes under mechanical engineering is also thermodynamics. Now thermodynamics as you know it deals with the heat exchange the temperature changes and the entropy levels and all those things. So this particular understanding is required whenever you are designing an air conditioner system and it is also required in designing of various turbines wherein you have a heat exchange turbine which is required. So those are the some of the applications of thermodynamics. The next aspect of mechanical engineering is the designing and drafting. It basically involves the drawing aspect of the various structures and also understanding of them. It will involve topics like CAD which is computer, computer aided design which are various programs from which we can design the structures, we can understand the structures and we can implement the structures. So whenever there is a requirement of making of certain things it always starts with the designing aspect of it and before designing it it requires the understanding of the drawing. So this is one of the aspects which mechanical engineer has to understand. The various research fields which are available in mechanical engineering can be considered as the nanotechnology which is one of the recent technologies which is available, the mechatronics engineering and also terms like biomechanics. It basically involves understanding of the biological elements which are present around you and making it into a mechanical system from them. So these are some of the recent technologies which are available in mechatronics engineering and have far reaching effects in various fields. The subjects which we will be going through in this particular coursework will be the strength of material which will be basically the understanding of the stress and the strain in more detail and the various types of them. Next will be the theory of machines which is just basically understanding what is basically machine is and what are the various elements 
in designing of a machine. Next topic which will be related, which will be understanding in more depth will be the computer aided design which is in short called as CAD. And the next topic which will be your thermodynamics and also your fluid mechanics. Now fluid mechanics is nothing but understanding of how various fluids interacts with the object and how much amount of energy or work can be done from this fluid. There will be also subjects related to the understanding of various concepts which are present in manufacturing and production. So basically a mechanical engineer has to understand the various industry level things in more detail. So those are some of the points of the mechanical engineer. So please do like, please do share and please do subscribe to our page so that it helps us in making more videos on them. We are Samartha Vidya and this is Sushant signing off for today. We also make videos for the first and the second year engineering students. So please stay tuned for those. We have already uploaded some topics like engineering mechanics which is basically the first year subject and also electronics. We will be making more such videos in the coming future. So please stay tuned for that. Also we would like to tell you guys that we have a 10% discount going out for all the first year students. So please do avail for that offer. Keep watching, keep learning and happy learning. Bye.